Sport by Track here, sportbytrackgear.com. Today we're going to do a video review on a brand new helmet. This thing literally just came out from Shoei. This is the Quest full face helmet. We already gave you a nice 360 when I had the helmet on. We're going to talk a little sizing right now. It's a size medium. I'm a medium in almost everything across the board. The thing fits absolutely brilliant. I've had this thing on sitting at my desk for hours over the course of the last week or so. I got to tell you, I love the fit. I could see myself doing a ton of riding in this. You know, if you're a distance rider, you ought to can wear this thing for days. All right, nice 360. Love the details on the shelves. Some great graphics in this one, too. Let's talk about the Quest and where it fits in the current Shoei helmet lineup, okay? Full face motorcycle helmets from Shoei. We're going to have our Quest RF1100 X12. Each one of them is a great helmet, and they're all purpose built, right? X12, it's going to be a race helmet. You can ride it on the street if you want to, no doubt about it, but it's a race helmet. It does a great job there. RF1100 is kind of in between track and street. It can do either and be very comfortable in both spots, lots of airflow. Great helmet. Now comes the Quest. This was really designed primarily for street riding. You could absolutely do track days in this, you could race in this, you could race MotoGP in this thing if you wanted to, right? It'll be home there, it's very protective, Snell 2010, the whole deal. But this helmet was designed for someone that's looking for something different than what you're going to get from those, those two more aggressively ventilated helmets. They were trying to make it as quiet as they could while still maintaining a reasonably strong level of ventilation. Let me qualify this right now and say I've not ridden this yet. I will ride in this helmet in about one more week on the track, and then I'll come back and do kind of a follow-up review and let you know what I think. I've ridden in the 12, I've ridden in the 1100, and then we're going to go ahead and do the Quest 2 and just really try and get a feel for how they all perform as compared to how they're built. So far, the 12, I believe, is delivered as built. Love it. The 1100 really enjoyed that helmet a lot. I think there's a tremendous amount of value there, completely performed as built. So there's no reason for me to expect the Quest to be anything other than what Shoei said it's going to be. Okay? Super quiet, reasonable airflow, okay? And very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. This is replacing the TZR, and I gotta tell you, this is such a step above that TZR, I, I, words don't even explain it. I was never a fan of the TZR. The only thing it did well is it had kind of a more round oval fit. So for some tough to fit people, it was a good helmet. This thing, I would call it more intermediate oval. This is going to fit 99% of the riders spot on. If you wear a medium or a large and most common helmets with this thing, you can with confidence purchase your standard size. It's going to fit great. Okay? Jeff, let's kind of tighten up a little bit. The Quest is using the same shield as the X12 and the RF1100. It has a really unique shield mechanism. You want to kind of tighten up here. It's basically spring-loaded. Nice detents all the way down. When you get to the bottom, the springs actually pull it backwards to get a nice tight seal here. It's going to keep it quiet. It's also going to keep the water out if you're out riding in any inclement conditions. Ventilation. Chin vent. Got a brow vent up here at the top. And we have two exhaust vents here on the back. One of the best additions is, and especially over the, the TZR, the TZR you couldn't remove any of the liner whatsoever, but with the Quest, just like with the old RF1000, you can replace the cheek pads on this bad boy and tune the fit. Just like so. This helmet offers a total of five different shell sizes, okay? So, you're not going to have the big, you know, like you're wearing a gigantic space helmet on your head. Five different shell sizes, it really keeps the exterior size of the shell in proportion with the helmet size. So it's nice that they've done that even with their, let's call it kind of their entry level full face helmet. The top pad of the helmet is not removable. So I kind of tighten up a little bit on that, Jeff. The items that we can get off are going to be the cheek pads, and then of course you can unsnap and release the chin strap covers so you can wash those as well. 
Remember, just because a helmet doesn't have a removable top hat doesn't mean you can't wash it. You can pull the shield off this thing, get it totally wet, right? Soap it up, wash it, rinse it thoroughly, and let it dry, and then reassemble it. So you can still maintain this thing and wash it. This helmet also comes with a few value-add features. You've got a breath deflector and a chin curb. Okay? You'll note that the Quest has a subtle chin curtain already built into it. Okay, remember when they were designing this helmet, one of the primary goals was to keep this thing quiet, and one of the best ways to do that is to really calm the wind here in the chin area with some type of a chin curtain. So that's why this one includes that subtle chin curtain kind of just built in to the EPS here in the chin bar. This helmet still uses the dual stage EPS. Okay, we've got some good pictures online that are going to show you how that affects the airflow of the helmet. This thing is built to ventilate very well. Like I said, about a week or so. I'm going to ride it and verify, kind of see where it stacks up with some of the other helmets out there. But looking at the design of it, I anticipate this thing's going to move a fair amount of air while remaining quiet, which was really the primary goal with the Quest, was to really balance those two things, airflow and quietness. One thing I noted too when I had it on is the way the neck roll is formed when the cheek pads are in, it's got a rather thick neck roll, okay, and that is one of the best ways to keep a helmet quiet when you're at speed is to have the neck roll nice and tight around your neck. All in all, what do we think of the Quest? We think it's phenomenal, it's a showy, okay? From the quality of the paint on this thing to the action of the vents, it's phenomenal. I mean, these guys, they may very well have the best track record in terms of longevity in the helmet industry that we've seen. I know the customers that get the showies, typically a showy rider will end up being a showy rider for eons because they have such a good experience with the product, okay? Phenomenal quality, great product. I'm excited to get out there and ride this. Like I said, I've been riding in the 1100, I've been riding in the 12. I've enjoyed both of those helmets, and I anticipate this quest is just going to be nothing but more of the same. So stay tuned. We'll be back in a couple weeks with that other video. I'll let you know what I thought when I wrote in. Brian Bannon, SportbikeDragger.com.